Hi everyone, in this video I am going to teach you how to solve quadratic equation using completing the square. This is the second video of this lesson. So if you haven't watched the first video, my advice is to watch that first because there's a lot of um, things I explained in that video that I, I think is very important for you to be able to use this method in solving quadratic equation. Now for this video, I will only give two examples. And uh, the first example has irrational roots. The second example later on after this one has imaginary roots. All right, so let's answer this one. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is to isolate the constant number. And that's positive 2 here, right? So minus 2, minus 2. So x squared minus 4x plus equals negative 2 plus. All right, so the objective here is to make the left side a perfect square trinomial. And to do that, we need to find that constant number. To find that, what we need to do is to simply divide the, the middle term by 2, the numerical coefficient. So it's negative 2 and then square that. That gives us 4. That 4 goes there. And whatever you add on the left side, you also add that on the right side. Now, Maybe you're thinking, why do you need to divide that by 2? Is it always divided by 2? The answer is yes. And we are dividing that by 2 to find that constant number. And of course, square that and to find that constant number that will make this a perfect square trinomial. So this is equivalent to x minus, because of that minus 4 minus, and the square root of 4 is 2. Square equals negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. Now, once you reach this point, everything is going to be easy. The next step is to find the square root of both sides. Now, since um, two, uh, the square root of 2 is a decimal, you have the options here. All right, so you need to communicate with your teacher. Um, am I going to express my answer as a radical or decimal? Ask your teacher about that. Okay, so the next step here is add 2 on both sides. And this is going to be 2 plus and minus square root of 2. All right. <clears throat> Let's go to my second and last example for this lesson. Okay, so this one has imaginary roots. Like what I said in my previous example, the first step is to isolate that constant number 4. So x squared plus 3x plus negative 4 plus. Okay? Next, divide this by 2, then square. So it's 9 over 4. Alright, that's 9 over 4. Okay, so express this as a binomial. So this is equal to x plus 3 over 2 square equals... Okay, let's do this. That's over 1. Let's solve this. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. This is 9. That's 4. So negative 16 plus 9 is equal to um, negative 7 over 4. Okay. And then, again, once you re reach this point, everything is going to be easy. Find the square root of both sides. That will give us x plus 3 over 2 equals square root of negative 7 over 2. Now, like what I said, this is, or the roots of this quadratic equation are imaginary. So there you go. The square root of a negative number is imaginary. Now, even if you use your calculator here, you're going to have an error. Okay. Um, so... You have two options here. The first possible answer is going to be this. Without an i. So cancel that. This is x equals negative 3 plus and minus square root of negative 7 over 2. So that's one possibility. Or 
it's negative 3 plus and minus i squared of 7 over 2. <clears throat> so if you don't know why is it i, I have a lesson or I have a video about that. So please watch that video about imaginary numbers. So if you're not familiar with that. But this is how you express your answer. Like this or like this one. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you learned this method. And if just please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.